friends, it's Tuesday, May 28th, 2013 at 6.56 p.m. in Vienna, Austria. I'm the Let Wall Street Pay for the Restoration of Main Street bill. Here are today's Mad Bits. Prices are steady in the 120 to 130 range after the recent upspurt from the old steady of 115. Last was 128, high of 132, and low of 124. Coinbase leads the charge in Bitcoin's commercialization. With more and more roads to Mt. Gox closed, Coinbase, the savings account of the Bitcoin world, continues to look like the standard. If your mom knows how to link a bank account to Fidelity or Charles Schwab, then buying Bitcoin through Coinbase will be no problem. Just input her account and routing number, verify a couple of small transactions, and your mom will be one step closer to shopping on Silk Road. <laughs> one quick correction to the article, you can transfer Bitcoins to anyone. Download the blockchain app for your iPhone or Android. You're ready to pay your friends back for meals in style with cryptocurrency. OK Pay shuts down Mt. Gox transfers. More and more trouble for Magic the Gathering online exchange today as OK Pay drops out. How much longer before only the Winklevi twins and their startup, BitInstant, are the only ones trading in Magic cards? Roseanne Barr supports Bitcoin. Comedian and former presidential candidate Roseanne Barr writes on Twitter, First post-apocalyptic law, slavery in all forms is now illegal, including debt slavery. Bitcoin! Welcome aboard, Rosie. Glad to have you. All prime ministers, queens, and presidents will be required to fight in the very first infantry wave of any war they authorize. Don't blame me. I voted for Rosie. This has been Mad Bitcoins. Mad Bitcoins? Mad Bitcoins? Mad Bitcoins?